Alright, so first off, there is a point to this video. There's a reason I'm making it. So, just know that. Alright, so real quick, man. Let me just tell y'all. Let me just tell y'all what happened, bro. She gonna be mad I'm telling this. But, you know, it's a part of life. And it's one of it's the type of shit that happens. So, check it out. Give y'all some context first. So, I know me and my girl been together 10 years. Ever since college. Like, her first year in college, she came and snatched up. Boom. Come here, girl. Ever since then, you know, rocky situations, rocky times, things like that, whatever. But ultimately, we've been together, right? A year ago, we had kids together. And so now, you know, that's what it is. That's life. We work. You know what I mean? I do YouTube. She has, a, she has her job. And we take care of our son together. Every week... We try, it doesn't happen every single week, but we try every week to have a social night with us two together, like a date night, you know what I mean? To keep the keep the low match fresh, you know what I mean? And then we also like to have an individual night, social night, right? So hers is usually on the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. My shit is actually usually during the week sometimes. Like I'll just go, chill i might go to the pool hall go to my partner house watch the game shit like that you know what i'm saying just whatever fuck i want to do whatever fuck she want to do so last night a co-worker had a party she went to the party now she took my car which don't make no goddamn sense because her car i just paid did i pay for it wait her car just got a tune-up I, I think she actually paid for it this time so kudos to her for that anyway before i get out the car <laughs> um her car just had a tune up but anyway so she took my car she hit something flattened my tire the police came to help her you know put the spare on then for whatever reason he asked to see her insurance i'm like bro just help her put the fucking spare on why are you even asking for that anyway he asked for it she doesn't know where it is in my car. I'm trying to place it in my mind. I think I know exactly where it is. Told her that whatever she was in processing or in registering, she couldn't find it. Or maybe it's just not there where I said it was. I don't know. I'm not in, I don't have my car back yet, which I'm about to get to. So I really can't say whether it's where I said it was or whether it wasn't, because I don't know yet. Either way, they told my shit, man. Told my fucking car. It's gone. So now, not only do I have a flat tire that I have to replace, my car got towed, so I gotta go get it from the tow people tomorrow, it's Sunday. But not only that, not only that, to get it, I gotta go to the DMV because I gotta show proof of insurance first, then I gotta pay a fine in the DMV. Like, who knows how long that's gonna take. Then I gotta drive all the way out to the damn tow place, which is probably about another hour away, and then when you add traffic to that, who knows? Then I gotta get my car. I'm gonna have to pay another fine for that. Y'all already know. Then obviously I gotta pay for the two tires. This is gonna burn up my entire day. Hopefully I can get it done in one day. Hopefully it doesn't cost me too much money. But honestly, in my mind, I'm thinking this is gonna probably cost me between the fines, getting my car back, the tires. This is gonna probably cost me anywhere between about $400 to about a rack. And I'm pissed about it, but you know, it's noon now. I've kind of calmed down. I just went for a drive and shit. You know what I mean? Got to calm down a little bit. But with all that being said, so now I can't shoot no videos tomorrow because I ain't going to have no time. So you know what I'm about to do on my day? It's not even a day off, right? I got up at 4 this morning. I made a video. I posted it. I only post one video on the weekends. I chill the rest of the day. But what I'm about to do, I'm about to say, all right, well, that video's done. We're about to shoot all the videos for tomorrow and try to get them edited. It's probably gonna take me the rest of the day to do that. Usually, it's like three videos. So man, we talking, we talking like five to eight hours. We about to go in, it's noon now. So it'd be dark by the time I fit. Well, I might I might better finish quicker, I don't know. It's gonna be late though. And I ain't saying this shit to back on her. I've done shit like this in the past. And it ain't really, you know what I'm saying? It ain't really like her fault. It is, but it ain't. Like it's things she could have done to avoid it. But at the same time, it's just a lot of random, by chance, bad luck shit that happened. So I ain't tripping. The point of this, like I said, that there would be a point is that, man, shit go wrong, man. Circumstances happen, things happen, but you still have to get it done. You still gotta get it in, bro. I'ma still get all my videos up, and other than the people who watch this video over on this channel, people ain't gonna know no difference, hopefully. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? People won't know the difference. They'll think I did my same routine. Woke up, shot my shit, edited it, boom, nothing wrong. They ain't gonna know that I ain't gonna be in a comment section because I'm moving around, fucking trying to get everything situated and losing a whole bunch of bread. Just flushing down the toilet, in my opinion, but you know, they get you. That's how they get you. Anyway, that was the actual moral to the story, man, is that even through the bullshit, you still gotta get all your videos up. A matter of fact, I'm shooting this Sunday on my way. Let me drop this Monday. It's gonna be Monday motivation, man. Monday motivation. Cause I know some of y'all going through some similar shit or probably something way worse. Or maybe something not even as bad. And I think it helps to like see somebody else going through something and just kind of see how they deal with it. Sometimes they can help to inspire you or help you through your situation. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I don't know, but I wanted to share this with y'all. Anyway, man, I'm gonna holler at you next time, bro. Flynn Low Rats. Bye.